Okay, on this episode of Blog Success Journal, we're still talking about web hosting and what it all means. Okay, today we're talking about dedicated servers. What is a dedicated server? Who's it right for? Yeah, and, and you know, 10 years ago, seven years ago, whatever, when you had to create your, your shared web host, your only option was a $150, $200 a month dedicated mm -hmm. server. Today, that's just not really the only option anymore. But what does it mean? A dedicated server is instead of having your website along with hundreds of other websites on this one server box and being at the mercy of who gets what traffic and shut down if somebody's flaky, guess what? You get your own dedicated box, nobody else will get you shut down. You don't get shut down because you took over their resources. But the cost, 150 to 200 a month. The pros, more power and reliability than the shared web host. Now, but you know, if you get a traffic surge, you don't get shut down uh, for your CPU. And this is the gotcha that people don't realize in our share web house. Your CPU bringing your neighbors down. You don't get shut down for that. Nope, you're in your own little island. But what doing are the what caveats? You need to do it. Okay, the caveats, as he's already mentioned, they're, it's very expensive, okay? And you're buying a box that you may never use, okay? Some people up front. Will, some people will utilize it, some people will grow into it, but the fact is, is you pay for all of that out up front, okay? And any kind of hardware, uh, software bug, anything like that can bring down your box, lose all your data, okay? Because that's your box. That's where all your stuff is. And usually okay? those are way cheaper hardware. It's a lot more likely for that to go down or lose a drive than a fancy yeah. high-end box. So, I mean, in our opinion, if you can't tell already, we prefer VPSs. It's usually always a better option, more cost-effective, just a better way to go. It just wasn't an option a while back. Today, by mm -hmm. far, that is a better way to go. If you get a reliable provider. And here's the catch. We. Uh, for just, just half of a million page views that we serve up all database driven WordPress, everything else through our websites. And we have one, one BPS provider that we love. We've tried a bunch of them. They've all sucked, except this one. It's totally solid. We've been with them for years. So if, to get our full review on it, just go to blogsuccessjournal.com and click on resources at the top and you'll get the download on it. Now, a question for you guys. Have you used a dedicated server? What's your experience? I mean, has it been a great experience? Has it not been? Yeah, maybe we're the only people in the world that's had really horrible experiences with dedicated servers. <laughs> or that think that 10-year-old options are great. <laughs> so anyway, what Let are us your know options? What you think.